Chip! I'm so excited! But let's keep it together. At least until the first death. I hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Hello! Welcome back to the Siege Streaming Blood Bowl 2. Yes, and tonight we've got a game in the G-Man League. So we're going to be playing my Chaos team, the Slanesh Slaughterers. That's these guys. They have a Warrior with Claw Mighty Blow, a Warrior with Mighty Blow, a Beastman with Block, for finally, for the first time, a Beastman with Movement 7, a Beastman with Claw and Mighty Blow, a Beastman with Mighty Blow. Yes, this is a fairly one-dimensional team so far. Uh, the team that I'm playing against is coached by Cyber Knight, aka Cyborg19. Don't touch me, I'm evil. He's got a pretty sensible team with some good skill up rolls. He's got Guard on a Mummy, Guard on a Mummy, two Rookie Whites, a Ghoul with Agility and Block, a Ghoul with Movement and Block, a Ghoul with Guard and Block, and a Ghoul with Block. So my lack of tackle might actually very, very much get in the way here. He's also got a Skeleton with Kick and a Zombie with Dirty Player. Um, I make that for a 9, 10, 11, 12 players total. So, uh, yeah, let's do this thing. So, options are a babe, a bribe, or a wizard. I don't think... Uh, I don't think I need a wizard. Bribe might be good. You know, foul one of those schools if they go down. But I think I'll just stick with a babe for now. Keep some cash in the bank. So, if I'm a little more soft-spoken than usual, do forgive me. It's my, uh, my throat. I think I'm going to go ahead and receive, try and throw some punches, see if we can take out some of his players early. Yeah, a one-turner is also very important, by the way. Having a, uh, I like having a retrieval uh, catcher, so agility, blood step, sure hands, leap, and a one-turn catcher, so movement and stuff. Hmm. Movement, sidestep, sprint your feet, something like that. So I will, of course, be trying to claw my way through these mummies, but lacking guard. Oh, yeah, that makes things even harder. Let's see. Welcome. Thanks for the follow, Mechania. So I don't really need to claw for this guy, of course. Or that one. Yeah, so I will be trying to block down this line of scrimmage, which will, of course, be a fairly uh, tense bunch of moments there. Because if that, if that goes to hell, then I've got quite a bit of a problem. So, I want you back here. I want you back here as well. So I've got my claw mighty blow there. Then I've got another mighty blow there. A little warrior here. Another guy here, I suppose. Another guy there. 
sorry. Yeah, let's see if we can make this work. A bit vulnerable down on this side. But that really can't be helped. Oh, more rerolls for the chaos. Oh, and that's nice. A free catch roll. Doesn't really help us that much. Right, so we're going to start off with some punches. Hitting a skeleton. Yes, that's good. And who needs claw when you've got skeletons? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now he's already used his kick. So that's not a big deal, but just getting a player out is good, especially if it's finally skills this guy. Yeah, and uh, Cyber Knight is absolutely correct that this is a very, very good start for me. So I'm going to bring this player down here. And this is still a bit risky, so I might just want to bring this player up there as well. Do I have enough for... I have six, four, five, six, yes, I do. So in that case, I can afford to do this. All right, let's see if we can get this going. Oh, that's a nope. So in that case, this is four... Yeah, no, that's nice. That's very nice. Smack down that goal. He's fine. The three, four, five means this guy can go around there. Make it six with claw. And then we still got this one to sort of make it safe down here. I'm not gonna foul just shit. I think. Two dice is good. With claw on a mummy, always nice. But doesn't actually do a thing. Sneak eyes. Well, all right. That's fine. That's fine. I'm a bit more worried about this side than that one. Let me go down there for now. And try the pickup. Pickup's good. This angle is theoretically exposed. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can be here. Here's better. There. All right. Not that much has happened yet. We took out a skeleton. <coughs> yeah, file wouldn't be bad there. That's true. I was a bit worried about my position but I guess I guess it could have been here and filed true that true that yeah that's that's one thing I've only got one guy on the bench and I don't have dirty player uh, I'm likely to lose a guy or two at some point <clears throat> But then again, you know, if you get a ghoul out, at least he's not regening or appoing, so there's that. And he only has one assist, uh, one bench as well, and, and he's already depleting that with the skeleton. So any ghoul that goes out is not just a ghoul out, but also a number down. moving around the flanks there a bit nothing too spectacular four assists is pretty juicy yes but with no dirty player <coughs> sorry the armor roll isn't really the part that's uh that you're worried about generally mm. 
Hey there, Grindo. Welcome. Right, so the Dream Player is not fouling this turn. I guess he's going to three die this then. Yeah, if I if I had dirty player, I would have definitely been all over that. Yes, but fouling isn't really a big part of my game plan here. So he's he's moving enough around both sides that <coughs> sorry that I can't really afford. Oh, he's going to hit the mighty blow guy. Well, he's going to push the mighty blow guy, I should say. That's sweet. So what have we got? Claw here. Can hit that. So I can't go and hit both mummies with claw. If I hit this, then I'd have to blitz that. That would be a bit of a waste. Then again... Can't really get an assist there, so that's kind of okay-ish. Let's get the ball safe first. Yep, yeah, relying on Mighty Blow and Claw is this team's uh, sole uh, means of uh, succeeding so far. That is very true. Oh, another POW. Well, maybe I'll get another shot then. Do I have anything worth fouling with? Or six. Yeah, I guess this guy. Two dice on the mummy is also good, and with claw, no less. Smack! Nice. Just a KO, but it helps. That's going to make a big difference in my on-pitch dominance here. And thanks to the host fash. So what have we got down on this side? We've got two assists there. So actually, I could make it like this, for instance, and make it to die on this guy. Yippee ki motherfucker! Mm, I've got four rerolls. I can afford to burn one. Ah. Well, let's go here. Follow that. Now, I kind of want him in here. Only one assist now, of course. I could make it two, but I don't like leaving this side so exposed. So I'm going to go here instead. And let's see if we can do the dodge. Yes, we can. Well, maybe a foul last turn would have been better. Oh well. And... It's a dud. Yeah, five would have been enough on the last one, though. Hmm. <sighs> well, getting that one mummy, I mean, the skeletons is nice, of course, but this mummy uh, KO'd really, really helps for this drive. It means I can afford to take my time and throw some punches and have a lot less to worry about in terms of getting outstrengthed and outguarded. Doubles with no armor break would be a pain, yes. One of my favorite things when getting fouled is when uh, someone who's already stunned gets his armor broken and then the opponent rolls uh, double fours on the injury but you have thick skull. Um, and he doesn't have to replayer. That's that's really one of those glorious moments.
Um, I take two rerolls on some teams that have very expensive rerolls, like Bretts or uh, Underworld. Actually, I think. Hey there. Um, I would. I I kind of like four rerolls for very high team value elves. At some point, you know that you're gonna run into for tournaments and stuff. Sorry, just a moment. Yes, sorry about that. So for uh, for tournaments and stuff, I like it on really high team value elves because you're gonna run into dwarves, and then uh, it it helps with the uh, lack of. Uh, Lack of having dodge, or rather, the uh, uh, lack of being able to use dodge because of the amount of tackle that you face. Yeah, I went with it on the necro until people started bitching all the time, and then I, uh, I, ch I caved. Ooh, that's nice. That's very nice. So I can even foul him next turn. Pretty, pretty helpful, that. So, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, I can get two dice on him. But you don't keep moving afterwards. That's kind of good. Can I get far enough? Probably not. Well, it's worth it though. Is this guy close, close to skilling? Not really, so let's use this one. Oh, and it's yet another hit. Excellent. Uh, Claw Mighty Blow doesn't do it this time. So let's see. One, one two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. What I can do, however, is try and swarm him a little bit. Mm. Keep one guy around here. Try and put some strength on. That sounds good. That sounds good. So, keep one rookie on him. Get in here. Hello. Yes, sure. Uh, let's see. Mm. Here, here, and here, and there. So this sets up the file for next turn, basically. Yes, I am Dutch, Magyar Khan. Hi. Exactly. Not exactly 100% healthy right now. And yes, that was my mother <laughs> coming to borrow a carton of milk. Why blitz the mummy and not the movement ghoul? Because on a POW push, uh, I can get the mummy down. Whereas on the ghoul, I need um, a POW. In addition, uh, the, um, they both have armor 7, because I'm, I have claw, and this guy is much more of a threat to me. So, between those, uh, between those factors, the, uh, mummies make for much, much better targets. Although, you know, regen is a factor, of course.
All right. So I think I've got enough players around him that uh, his blocks will be fairly unpleasant. I like how I've marginalized this. Uh... Oh, that's just both down. That's kind of good. Yep, no problem, Yago. No problem. I like how I marginalized this mummy by having him stand next to this guy. So he doesn't get the chain push that he's looking for, which also means he doesn't get an assist here. The one die is just a push, but good enough. And another one die, another push, which means he gets one last one die. Well, that one does work. So he's managed to remove me from the immediate vicinity, which I'm not really happy about. He's also managed to not let Thanks, me keep... Hi, I would like to share the birth of my little boy three days ago with you wow. and the community. Happiest <laughs> day of my life. Congratulations, uh, Culchin. Culchin. for his sake once in a while. <laughs> Best wishes, Black Books. Thank you, Black Books, and uh, congratulations with the birth of your son. That's that's just amazing. Yeah, I can I can definitely definitely relate to that. Wow. Thanks, man. So let's see. We blitz the mummy again. We file that goal there. Let's see. Oh, and the blitz on the mummy is a success again. The black seed is really, really doing a thing here. Doesn't really matter that he's not too effective yet. One, two, three. So now we can really get some distance going, maybe. So I can block that. And then file a bit later there. I'm just trying to see how... Let's see if I can get this. Hey, thanks to the host cheat dog. So I'd like to keep this guy for... Let's see. That one's going to block. Then this one's going to foul. And then maybe I'll dodge that out. Yeah, that's uh, that's a really kind gesture towards me, and also a really, really beautiful event for you, of course. So, my congr sincere congratulations, man. So, Carlshen is the name of your son, huh? Yeah, I'll definitely name my next player after him. Oh, wait, do the run-up, Sage, don't forget... There we go. Do the run-up. Two assists. This guy dodging out is not really all that helpful. Finish him. Yeah, but Nurgle takes even longer to get there. Oh, just a stun. Well, we can try again next turn, maybe. So this block didn't work. I can try and make it a bit less appealing for him to try something there. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, Carl will fit him later, I guess. I could stand him up, but really, I don't feel, feel like I have to. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yes. So, is this uh, is this your firstborn uh, black books?
Oh, just doing a bit too many things at the same time. Wow, that's that must be a, a pretty hectic time. I can uh, I can certainly remember uh, what that was like, and your life really does get uh, get quite turned upside down by uh, by events like that. I uh, I have two of my own, and uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the one of the best things that ever happened to me. Okay, so he's gonna blitz there, which means I might still have enough for a good file there. Blitzing the mummy has become less and less appealing. Oh, just a stun. All right, he's fine. It is but a scratch. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's uh, that's very helpful. <coughs> Sorry. Let's see. So we can block this with claw. We can blitz that. I don't think I'm gonna need here. Lock this one. That's good. Kind of needed that. Blood Bowl is dad central, yes. Oh, nice. Another KO. This time on the dirty player, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and Claw and Mighty Blow were both needed to make that happen. Lovely. Lovely. I think I'm going to blitz the white with this guy. That seems like a good way to get some distance and also some value on the Claw Mighty Blow. And all the blocks are going my way right now. Well, not that much result just yet. That's okay. Let's see if we can get some extra mileage out of this. So POW here would help, but is not crucial. I'm going to foul from that square. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that should be just good enough. But first, let's shoot for a pow here. Brilliant. Brilliant. And a mighty blow pow, no less. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, I am going to make this too high as well. Just to push, that's okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll be I'll be uh, having a third child. <clears throat> Although I have to say that the thought does Finish him. does appeal to me. Oh, just a dud. All right. So do we want to go here for this one die? I guess that's not bad. It also helps screen off that area. I've already done the file anyway. Yeah, that's okay. One die is not that good. One, two, three, four, five. He can't actually... Um, can't actually blitz me. But I don't like having that mummy in here. I'd rather take a block from him now. Than to... Uh, than to have him that close next turn. I prefer to keep... Keep him marginalized. And... Uh, have as much control as possible over this side of the pitch. But yeah, there's a there's a lot of dads in Blood Bowl. I remember when we did the uh, state of the game with Lupak, uh, that we had all four Blood Bowl dads in there. Yeah, that was kind of cool. I'm uh, I'm surprised how many dads can manage to play in Blood Bowl Two as well, because of the whole uh, non reconnecting to games part. I mean, I've played Fumble when kids were taking a nap and stuff. Um, I don't see myself do that with Blood Bowl 2, basically. Yeah, Lupak has a daughter, I believe. Uh, she was born not too long ago. I think she's probably one now. Maybe not even.
Yeah, you might want to give that back. Well, you know, um, I guess the not having a beard part is kind of, uh, kind of getting in the way of him looking mature. That's probably it. Okay, so we've got another potential claw hit there, which is nice. I guess Beth Bavrian would be a great place to park those star player points and skill up. He would be my second block on the team, I suppose. <coughs> Sorry. Ah, right, the Lord. Thank you. Thank the Lord. Yes. So, did he blitz yet? I don't think so. Let's see on the blitz. Mummy blocks, gets Monkaji down. Yay, armor nine. Splendid, splendid. Mighty blow, not enough. Needs more claw. Yeah, I'm getting into the chaos, uh, chaos mindset here a little bit. So yeah, if I could get my star player points to Bav Bavrian, that would be splendid. Cholera is blitzing but not skilling there. He's probably hoping for some easy star player points because this guy's sitting on 15. <coughs> well, it does get easier with time, that's for sure. Yes. Uh, especially once they go to school. Right, so I can get a mighty blow, uh, a claw blitz on this guy and a mighty blow hit there. That seems probably like the best thing I can do. We're going to stand up there. Now, I do have this guy stuck. We're going to try and get him out later. So this block is kind of crucial if I want to group up there. And dare I do so? Yes, I dare. Oh, bad. Oh, good. Nice. We go here. I'm not really in the way, so I can afford to do that. That's a bit of a shame. Five, six, seven could be here. So, say we go there, then this guy can go here, this one can go there, and then we can bring these heavyweights in here to sort of try and get this closed up it's not perfectly safe because we still got this cool but with those true strength fours down there i think we can probably manage now we've already used our reroll but i still want to hit this guy of course and nope not good enough i don't want to give him a free punch but i do want to screen off here a little bit make it harder to get there and I guess since we haven't really lost anyone, I might as well foul. Could have gone there. Oh, yeah, and the foul is also good. Tetanus is going down. Tetanus is going down. Finish him. And... Oh! Bad ref. Snake eyes. So, will we get the time to hand off to Bav Bavrian there? Because we only have two more turns. 
And he does have quite, quite a bit of control. I mean, obviously this doesn't matter. <coughs> well, I mean, kids are a blast. Even when they're uh, not yet communicative, even when they're when they're uh, soiling their diapers and everything, they are still uh, uh, still very precious to have around. But uh, once you can have actual conversations with them, it gets so much more fun. Seriously, it's it's brilliant. No, no, dropping like flies. So sad, so sad. All right. Yep. Monkey G is also going down. Malaria. Yeah. His uh, his team's theme is very appropriate given my uh, my sniffles. It's a bit more of a Nurgle theme, but other than that, yeah. So a push here is enough to get this guy out there and try a relatively safe handoff, hopefully. Depending on what happens here, of course. Might not get that safe. And of course, if I fail the 1 in 9 now, I'm hoping to get an 8 out of 9 again afterwards. Hey there, Valenich, welcome. Oh, just a push? No, he's got to reroll that, right? He's got three rerolls and three turns. He's not going to do much else. Yeah, he does reroll it. The Black Seed goes down. Yeah, are you up against this guy next, uh, Shawnee? Well, I definitely hope so too. Not just for you, but for my own sake. Yeah, so I'll definitely have to blitz my way there. I guess I could even blitz my way here. Oh, yeah, Eidolon goes down as well, but not out. Huh. Getting, getting safe is kind of a challenge. Because I only want to blitz this if this block is good, I guess. Well, otherwise he can block. This standing him up still makes sense, not really. This standing him up makes sense, definitely. So blitz this, block that, and then form up there, I guess. At least if I blitz this first, I'm through. Then again, if it's a push, then I'm stuck. Whereas if this is a knockdown, that's a push then. Yeah, I can afford to do this first. And it is a push, which means I am stuck right there. I'm going to follow that. At least I'm hanging on to him now. So he's not going to do anything else. Now this needs a knockdown, and it gets it too. Splendid. Splendid. There it will do. Not good enough, but alas. So we're going to hand off there, I think. Two, four, five. So we're going to need one guy. Here. And then one guy there afterwards. Yes. Okay. Now this is all pretty tense stuff, right? I mean this could this could easily go wrong. So the Agility 4 has a an easy route there. I think hanging on to this guy is good. If he blocks me off, then he spends his action doing so. And if he Yeah, at least I'm in the way of this guy a little bit as well, too. Yeah, I like that. 
So, let's try the handoff. Exciting times. Exciting times. Yes, okay, so that's good. He does have a half die. I don't think he can, he's going to make it a one die. But he might get in my way enough to give me some serious trouble here. <coughs> um, yeah, since I've got the reroll left. Well, really, what's that going to accomplish? Not much, because this guy is guard and can just get in there, and he's not going to do anything else. No, nope. I'm fine. Fine where I am. If he gets in my way enough, then I might have to hand off again, which would be a pain, because I'd much rather skill him. It's a bit of a risk I took, but like I said before, I'm playing low team value chaos. I'm probably not going to win nearly enough to win the turn, the, win the season uh, for this division. So my goal will be team development first and winning second. Hence the mighty blow claw start instead of the block start. Not having guard, having only one block and only since this game. It's not the ideal way if you want to win this match. But I do think it's the fast track to building a high team value chaos team. Okay, he's fine. Just a stun. But a scratch. Excellent. Yeah, so this guy is slightly in the way, but not really, fortunately. But at least I, I'm making him roll an 8 out of 9, I'm making him roll 2, 4, 6, and 8. Well, not really, he can go here and be in the way. Let's see, suppose this guy winds up there, this guy winds up there, that guy winds up there. I will see one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that still works. Oh, another stun, another just a stun. Well, what I like about this way to start is that um, <clears throat> these four players skill up very quickly and the rest kind of lag behind, which makes for a much better overall team development than if you, yeah. So preventing this, preventing this zombie from blocking me off was why I was considering the dodge and GFIs there. But then I realized that this mummy would make that possible anyway. So yeah, now I might be in a bit of a pinch here. Because if this is a success, then he can go there and there and there and really get in my way, potentially. I hate how he still has all four of his ghouls. Maybe I really should have fouled on turn one. That would, might have been better. So the GFI is good. The block not so much. Does he reroll? He does reroll, but does not knock me down. That helps a ton. Yeah. That helps a ton. This guy already moved. Right? Oh no, this guy's just got a, a buggy blitz icon over his head. He didn't move. This is interesting. Cheater. An uh, elf blitzer who's a blodger now got plus strength. Uh, I would make him either uh, a tackle type guy or a, uh, a bloodsure hands. Either works. Actually, tackle and diving tackle works very well too. Yeah, so he's still going to be in my way quite a bit. Let's see. So I can block that, but not with two dice. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a serious problem. In fact, I can't even get a one die there. Yeah, he did get in my way quite a bit then. Okay, is there a way out at all?
this actually I can get there pretty easily so this one die is kind of scary then that two die is not so scary So if this one die is a push, then I could get two dice there, which is super easy. Well, the thing is, if I blitz with the ball carrier, I still need to pow in order to get through. Otherwise, I'm not making a three plus dodge, but rather a four plus one. But I think I need to make this. Yeah, that's good. All right. So now all I need is for this one not to roll both down or a skull and then we're through oh a little nice bonus pow there So obviously we're not making any of the other blocks. And skilling Bath Bevrian. <coughs> okay. So we've still got 11 players. Um, yes, and they're all awake as well. He's still got 11 too, but the mummy is sleeping. Hey there, Viper. Uh, doing quite all right. Doing quite all right. Um, I managed to KO a mummy and he didn't wake up. I managed to hurt a skeleton. So, well, that doesn't really matter. Um, and I got one guy sent off, but other than that, no real harm yet. So, yeah. Yeah, things are going pretty, pretty well so far. Let's see, three, zero, zero. Do I have another zero star player point one? I do not. So let's put the three guy in the middle. All right, see you, Yago, thanks. Uh, he's got, <sighs> wow, that's terrible, Diog. He's got a movement eight goal, but it is agility three. So that's a 5 plus 4 plus a lot of pushes. Yeah, let's not run that risk though. Let's not run that risk and just give this at least. Now, um, Cyber Knight did tell me that he started playing Blubble with Blubble 2. So he said he was relatively new. Which is not a guarantee because some people play a lot, but... Um, hi Valenich. The reason this warrior took claw first, I was I was quite annoyed by this. Uh, I spent uh, a match with uh, the Black Seed on 14 star player points, and I blitz with him every turn, but he refused to get that last cast to skill claw. And the game after that, I was up against orcs. And knowing that that match was going to be against orcs, I figured I I really needed one claw. And that's why he got it. Normally, I would never do that, but knowing I'm up against orcs, I decided to do so anyway. Ooh, perfect defense. How nice. Doesn't really help that much. Uh, but I guess we can get away from the mummy, I suppose. Uh, he could actually... Yeah, yeah maybe. There, there, there. No. All right. Doesn't really matter much. Okay, so he does know enough to start off with diagonal blocks, and now we're back to the mummy. Who needs one more assist to make this a two die? I guess the guard go go in there or something. Uh, to make it a three die. Sorry. Oh, that's a costly mistake. Ouch. Well, that went well. Off to the halftime break then. Hey there, I love making good Blood Bowl videos for you guys. 
but it does take a whole lot of time. And as a streamer and YouTuber of such a niche game, I really rely on viewer donations to fund the channel. So if you really enjoy these videos and would like to drop a little something my way, you can find the links to how to do so in the video description. Thanks folks. Oh, the mummy wakes up. Um, I, I would only do that von Steinberg if they have so little strength that they have a hard time knocking them down. If you know they're going to get knocked down anyway, I would just uh, put the uh, beastman on the line. Uh, like I'm doing in this match, basically. Good example of that. But if I um, if I know that they have uh, enough strength to take me down anyway, like these mummies do, then I tend to just put my beastman there. Oh, so if I were him, I would be blocking the middle with a mighty blow. So let's put a zero star player guy there. Uh, I don't mind having this rookie warrior exposed, the block guy exposed, and the recently skilled warrior can be here. Something like that. Yeah, exactly, as what Kuma says here. If, if, Putting your strength there means they have a hard time blocking you down, then that might be worth it. So, something like that then. Hey, Dreamify. Thanks for the follow, mate. Uh, yeah, this'll do. This'll do. So, we're down to 11. They're also down to 11, so that didn't change much. Um, I got to enjoy um, almost an entire half without uh, one of those mummies, but now he's back. And so I have to do it all over again. Oh, no. He's targeting the three-star player point guy and leaving the middle alone. Haha. <laughs> Serves me right for trying to predict his actions. So yeah, I haven't managed to hurt those four blodge ghouls much, even though I've powed them quite a bit. But I did miss out on a on a really good foul opportunity turn one that I probably should have taken on the guard ghoul. So it's, it's at least in part my own fault that I'm still facing 11 guys. He's only had one chance to regen yet, and that failed him. The three die is good. And Eidolon is fine. Splendid. The other three die is good, good, good. And Mr. Jamandam is not so fine. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Well, I guess he's a zombie now. So, if this were a minus strength or something, I wouldn't even have considered apoing. But uh, since he's down to 11 players, giving him a 12th is actually kind of bad for me if this thing goes to a uh, third drive. <laughs> yeah, just a bit deceased. Oh, wrong sound. That's the one I was going for. It's passed on. It has ceased to be. 
Right, so now we're undermanned again, when we were dominating in terms of numbers all through the first half, and that's what KOs do for you. KOs are, if anything, at least as fickle as files are. Oh, this guy still has the nice uh, blitz icon there. So that's interesting. I don't expect to be doing much fouling anymore because I don't have a bench. He does. Maybe if a beautiful target happens to arrange itself in the right way, it's going to be a foul then. Yeah, this is just a graphical bug. This guy's had the blitz icon on him for uh, quite some time already. Right, so I guess this white is sacrificing himself for getting hit. Now, if I, he can score by turn... I do like a big bench. If he can score by turn 4 or something, and so that's, uh, what is it, 12, and I've, I've still got 10 players, then that's kind of okay. Okay, so what have we got? We're going to put him here, and put him here, and here, this guy here, this guy there. Stand up. Uh, I do believe people were complaining about how cringy they were. Uh, there's just no pleasing some people. Let's keep one guy a bit in the middle for reasons of not overcommitting. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, just a stun. The original was never really a quote. Um, I just said I enjoyed having a big bench and then the whole uh, musical side of things didn't really figure into there until people started coming up with the formulation of the quote. <coughs> Sorry about that. Ah. So he's got enough guards, again, to get his blocks in here. And I think I've got this side safe enough that he doesn't want to just shoot past there. So I expect to be taking a lot of his this turn. But because of the way my Chaos Warriors are set up, uh, he does need to commit quite a bunch of his players to get that done. Now there are some, some really good guard spots like here and there. Ideally, I, I would have prevented that. Maybe I even could have. I'll need to block this down before you can get there, obviously. Well, if anyone comes across the originals, they're welcome to send me a timestamped link, but until that happens, I'm not going to spend a huge amount of effort looking for them. <clears throat> to be honest, I don't look back at past videos much at all, really. Uh, 
Okay. Ooh, that's nice. That's not so nice. AVQC going down. Down, but not out. Excellent. So he's not going to get another guard in here, which means I might have a blitz option there. Four, five, six, seven. Or there, potentially. Now, blitzing the ball is not as appealing as it sounds because he's got blodge on it anyway. Yes, exactly, Shawnee. I, uh... I kind of have to, to do the YouTube edit editing, and after that, usually uh, not unless stuff comes up like comments relating to specific videos. If people say, hey, why did you move that guy there on turn uh, 14, then I will look at that turn before answering the question, of course. Yes. Although, uh, YouTube, if you're hearing this, um, I would definitely prefer my questions with a timestamp link. It's very simple. Just type the number of minutes uh, and, and then a colon and then the number of ooh, number of seconds. And that should be enough. E a 12. That should be enough to, uh, to, to make it a link. And that helps a bunch in answering questions. Right. So that doesn't actually change a whole lot there. We've still got a situation where this guy's just getting up. Marking him is not bad. This situation is not getting any better. I have to worry about him escaping there, though. So let's see. This is really fine and to be here, I think. So let's see if we can do this then. We've got the strength for it. I will take it both down if I have to, but I don't have to, it seems. I'm going to follow that. And... Ooh, nice. He's out. Out is fine. Oh, and regen failed. Splendid. Splendid. That helps a bunch. Oh, yes, and I actually rolled a 7 on the armor. Such love for Mighty Blow Claw. Yes. Alright, so this means I can pull this guy back somewhere around here-ish. Maybe even here. I'm a bit worried about him changing sides on me. All of his slow players are down there. All of his fast players are up here. And these guys could swarm down there very easily. Let's see if this one die helps any. Yes, it does, actually. Ah, uh, guard there. I'd rather stay then. Oh. And another helpful little stun there. Yes, it's definitely not life. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll admit it's not live. Although, uh, some people do actually live stream on YouTube uh, quite successfully. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. My bad. At least my uh, my audio software is dampening the worst of the burst. Nah. But I'll try to uh, I'll try to mute my mic when it happens. Man, I hope I have a voice left tomorrow. Oh, that's too bad. That's a white. He can do this. Ooh, and a stun. Not too much of a problem. Scratch. 
Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can predict the future. Didn't I tell you this? That's why I have this nickname also and why I keep saying, let's roll that not skill. Yeah, so he is going for a so change of sides, which kind of makes sense. You could also do chain push thing here. So I'm glad I moved this guy a bit further down and a bit further to the left. If I can get a good free shot at the ball, I will, of course. It does look like, like he's considering potatoing a little bit. Now he can screen off one, two, three, four, six, seven. He can screen off there, for instance. But he's worried about this guy. That also makes sense. Really? Uh, I, I assume you don't mean Blood Bowl there, uh, Kumo, because it's kind of obvious in Blood Bowl. You know, Cabal Vision has this. Okay, there's interesting. It makes the... GFI. I can reach that, but not easily. And uh, let's see what he does with this chain push. If he puts him here, for instance, that would make things a little bit harder. Yep, he does. Huh. I did say team development first, did I not? All right. All right. So. Well, blitzing the mummy kind of makes sense now. Of course. Well, that's not really random either, uh, yes. Oh, and it's good again. Splendid. And... Justice done. So let's go here. Yeah, I can't really stop him here. That's kind of a pain. But at least I can get to kind of situation. Let's see, I can block this guy. Get out there. Yeah, I really know. How much would I need to get in his way enough? So I need to get here. That works. Oh, that didn't work. Well, since we've got four of them, I might as well. But that makes dodging here a lot less appealing, so let's just make this a block then. Just a push, right. I'm not going to follow. Uh, you know what, fuck it. Let's make this one die. Oh, bad. Well, dodge wouldn't have worked either. Eek. Just a step. So, he's got an easy score if he wants it. Just two GFIs. He doesn't have an easy stall, though. So that's something. And if he scores, I've got five turns to make my own play. Uh, and I do have a mummy out for the rest of the match this time, so that helps. And this guy might come back, I suppose. Uh, Appling him might have been... Appling him definitely would have been the right play if I wanted to win this game. More than, say, next season. Yeah, the robot is acting sick. That's very true. That is very true. Oh 
Okay. Looks like he is setting up for a stall. Or maybe he's just trying to get the situation as safe as possible. Yeah, he can go here, for instance, or there even, before he makes the GFIs. Or hand off. Two GFIs, and the first good and the second good as well. <coughs> so let's see the knockout rolls. Yes. Okay, he's back. Excellent. And uh, so he's down to ten, missing a mummy, which is quite crucial. Also missing kick. I'm down to 10 as well, but only missing two rookies. So that's kind of kind of nice. Yeah, it looks like it could be a 2-1 to one grind. But of course, I'm still facing four blodge... Four blodge ghouls, which could be a bit of a pain. I still have only one block, so... Let's see, star player point-wise, what do we need? What is our priority? This guy's skilled... Don't have any five SPP beasts or something like that. But I guess. Ooh. Let's see if we can do a repeat performance for last time. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Sorry about the sniffles. Sniffles are not the most pleasant sound to listen to. Although I suppose, uh, I suppose some streamers do pretty well with a voice like this. <sighs> Let's use the movement seven for retrieval since we're doing, uh, trying to do the safe thing here. And let's see, I don't really need him there, do I? Yeah, that's okay. So what have we got? Yeah, we we want the mighty blow. We want the mighty blow. <laughs> I'll I'll do the best I can, Shawnee. I have to admit it's mildly annoying to me as well. So blitz that block. Wait, that doesn't work at all, does it? Uh, yeah, so let's go with the plan I was saying earlier, where I would use him, and then accept that this guy is going to be dedicated carrier. Let's swap these around, because that lets me do this, which is better. That's a very fine place for the ball to be. We're gonna go there. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing, uh, Diog. Gonna go here. We don't have that much of a hurry, but we don't want to take it super slow either. Let's see, this is good, because it gets us an assist there. I guess we don't really need him here right now. Let's put him there. Let's try this one. Oh, just a push. Well, all right. That's okay. And he goes back here, which means he's probably getting blitz next turn. Can't really be helped, given where we are. Oh, 
that's nice. Four, five, six, seven. Let's put him there. That way, if the first one is a dud, I can still get another hit on him. Yeah, that's not good, though. Oh, yeah, that's very not good. But at least the claw did something. So well, the mummy's out for next turn. The ball is in a reasonably safe spot. Let's see where the agility four is hanging out. He's down there. So that's... Yeah, this could be bad. This could be bad. I'm glad I got these two guys on there. But he's got enough... Uh, my wings are open enough that this could very well bite me in the ass. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One go onto the ball. Yeah, yeah, this could get messy. This could get messy. But, of course, that's the risk you run when you have players who don't have block. And you use them to block anyway. So this area is going to be crowded like hell with ghouls in a moment. And of course I don't have any kind of ball carrying skills. No sure hands, no extra arms, no agility, no nothing. Closest I've got is a beastman who just has movement. Brilliant. So is this a blitz? No. Alright, that's kind of good I guess. This guy did not just blitz, that's just a bug. It would have made sense to me to blitz from this side, because this is where he has the agility 4, and he's the best candidate for retrieving this turn, but I guess he's, his retrieving this turn is not his plan A then. Fair enough, because if he can get enough blodge around there, then that might already do the trick. Oh, that's very conservative. Not sure I approve. Uh, I don't think I would have left the ball this unguarded. But then again, it does mean he risks me running past all of a sudden a bit less. Ooh, that's nice. He's going to reroll that, obviously. He's got two rerolls, four turns. It's a double skull on a goal. Yeah, he's rerolling. That makes sense. <laughs> Now he doesn't put me onto the ball, which means a pickup is less appealing. But he's gonna try anyway. Alright. I guess. GFI, no reroll. Four plus pickup, no reroll. No, he's not gonna try. Alright. Let's see, what have we got? What have we got? Stand him up. One block there would free up this guy to blitz that. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, good enough for now. I am going to follow that. So, we're going to blitz here. Pow would be nice, but I'll settle for a push. Pow would be very nice. Thank you. And... Oh, just a stun. Alright. Alright. Well, getting him out for a turn is already quite helpful. Obviously, not anything else here. Let's see. If I want to go here with the ball... Then I really kind of need some help there, for instance. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to get safe. Could go here with the ball, but that's not going to get very safe either. Oh, I suppose it kind of might. Let's try it anyway. Pick up is good. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of needed that. Knockdown here would help a bunch, but alas... No such luck just yet. But still enough to get me there. 
And now I've got two dice here, which I might as well make. Get some more control of this. Now, I don't mind this situation too much. Dodging out here and failing would be really sucky. So I'm going to dodge out there. Then again, this is a two die. Yeah, let's do this one. There. Don't follow. Ooh, nice. Justice done. Hey there. Is this worth a rerolling? That's a good question. Two rerolls. Uh, he's gonna go down. He's not gonna go down easy. I think it's not worth rerolling. Nope. Just a moment, guys. Let me say hi to the missus. Hi, Yuki. Yes. You know. There we go. Oh, uh, yes. Um, it's not my turn, is it? Why is this not responding to camera controls at all? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So this guy going down was very much to be expected. One die there could work. Not bad. Yeah, the the there was an argument to be made for rerolling this, obviously. It would have been a lot safer. You could even get a get a block here, but it'd be hard for us to get a guard in there, though. I don't like my situation much at all. The mummy's back up. Yeah, so he's going for the conservative lock my players down moves, rather than the flashy... Ooh, well, I'm glad I saved my apple, then. What does the doctor say? The doctor says AVQC is fine. <coughs> yeah, so now he's got two dice on the ball. Easy, both down. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, that's one sad picture. Why you do this? Oh, by the way, also a big thank you to Bean Chilla who uh, donated again off stream. Um, congratulating me on the one year uh, stream anniversary. Yeah, let's take that push. Thank you. And by the way, if you're wondering about that noise, that's Mrs. Sage brushing her teeth. Yes. Okay, so I've gone from hopeful two to one grind to hoping not to lose a touchdown here. Yeah, this is this is a pretty, pretty scary situation. So I could blitz him, which would get me free, potentially. And if it doesn't get me free, then I, I can at least follow and block myself into a reasonably safe situation. If I do get free, one, two, three, four, five, six, I could even sideline cage, but that looks pretty damn scary. Yeah, 
I don't think I don't think this is gonna get really safe. I uh, actually this guy is not gonna do anything but getting up. So let's do that first. This guy might very well. <laughs> Turn fourteen, so I kind of have to make a push here. So yes, I definitely want to follow that. One, two, three, four, five, six, so I lined up there. <laughs> Now he does have an agility 4, but it's relatively far away. The guard situation here is very annoying though. Those two guards are really irritating the shit out of me. Because I've got one... No, this is also a half die because he's assisting. This is a half die because he's assisting. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I think I need to be here for this. Just to keep this guy out of my hair a little bit. Let's see. Half die there is really not good. Half die here might actually be alright. Yeah, let's try that. Nope. Two rerolls, two turns. Uh, yeah, let's not. Let's not. My only block guy didn't die. Excellent. <laughs> I like that. I like that, Diok. You guys are my coffees, apparently. Yes. Yeah, even even if you would let these three guys uh, alone, simply moving my sideline cage to a scoring position would already involve uh, four GFIs this turn. If I want him in a, in a T, uh, uh, GFI free scoring position, or just one GFI, but then he'd still need a GFI on the last turn. And of course, he's not planning on leaving me alone right there. This is going to be a struggle. If he makes all these blocks, he could even do the blitz with the Agility 4. I might be inclined to try that if I were him. Lock there. Lock there, I guess. Or maybe not even. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It does mean two GFIs. Is making a passing Chaos Team a bad idea? That depends on your goals, uh, Bush Ranger. If you like winning, then yes. If you like weird, fun teams that aren't actually effective, then it's a brilliant idea. Something like that? I guess something like that. So I think we will be seeing a sideline surf attempt. So it's a... If he goes here, then it's a 5 plus with reroll, which is around 50 50. Then a dodge, so, so that's the dodge. Then two GFIs and a one die. <laughs> it's, it's a risk, but. Yeah. I have the feeling he's going to make it. Not that that means anything, of course. Oh, that's a very cheeky one die. What the? Even even on a push, it would interrupt that logic. Why doesn't he use the white for this? Surprising. The ghoul is in a better spot for it. Okay, so he's not going to do that. He's not going to go for the sideline surf. For the one die surf. That's uh, that's interesting. 
No, well, maybe maybe he's worried that if it fails, I'll still score, and this way he has more control. That kind of makes sense. And he does still have a goal in scoring position, so that's kind of good for him. And this guard goal is in a good spot as well. I've got he's got pretty much all of my players marked. So I guess I'm down to potatoing. Booger. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, first things first. Stand up. Uh, stand up. Get there. And stand up. So I've got to blitz this. Getting away from it, yes. But getting away from it is not all that I need to do. I also need to actually get safe. And that's not nearly as trivial. Because he's got all of these ghouls, and they can all act there. I need to make a GFI. I don't want the ball to go out of bounds. That would just be terrible all around. So that's why I'm here. Because if I'm here and I get knocked down there, then I'm even more fucked than I already am. Yeah, so... One Dog Pals could help a bit, but not really. What I need is to get... Here is that going to be good enough? Huh. Huh. Getting in the way of the agility four is nice. Then again, leaving this a guard goal free to maneuver is not so nice. Right now, he's got two dice there anyway, so that doesn't matter. I guess we tried this first, so that now the guard guy is in a tackle zone, and then we try this. Now, nothing left to lose, because two rerolls, two turns. Yes, yeah, so we make that. Normally, I would be trying to go here, but given how I'm already... Either that or two, four, six, eight here. The advantage of here is that his situation is a bit harder to get a two die in, slightly, and that if I get knocked down, I still have a knoring threat. I like that better. I do like that better. This guy can get two, four, six, eight, can theoretically get there. Uh, one die pow here would help. Then again, this guy is probably blocking him off, which means it, on his touchdown play, uh, this guy is actually in a good spot. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> yeah, gimmick teams are, are fun. Gimmick teams are definitely fun, but they work better in an environment where you can you can make things easy for yourself. Like for instance, I have some gimmick teams in ranked, um, but I'll I'll play I'll play them in situations that make them you know not good, but at least not flat out impossible. So yeah, this should be interesting. Okay, so he does the block with the zombie, which is a pretty serious risk at this point in the game. Oh, and yeah, there goes the movement seven.
Yeah, he already has a zombie uh, uh, based on um, Mr. Jamandum, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, maybe I should watch the Ash instead. So he gets the knockdown, and he still has the Agility 4. So he's taken all the risks that he needed. Well, at least that's not another death. Uh, the bounce actually makes life harder for me as well, because I need um, I need to go here. <laughs> yeah, so he decided to keep this white uh, not block there so that he can free up for this goal, which... Oh! Oh, what's this block? Why? Why? Oh, wow. Well, oh, is my only block guy going down? No, he's fine. He's fine. Well, I'm kind of glad he doesn't have a reroll now. <coughs> that makes this whole thing a lot more likely to go my way after all of this. And yeah, that's the turnover. Okay. So what I need... What I need is to get the ball... To him. That's going to be a pain. That's going to be a pain. Because he cannot afford to go here. So what I can do is... I can blitz off this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. So I need a three. And then a push. And then another three. Another three. A two. A three. And then two twos. Wow, if the bounce had been here, this would have been so much simpler. One of these two squares, or these three squ squares, actually would have been fine. Two, three, four, five, six, one, go. Two, three, four, five. Well, at least that puts with Mighty Blow. Yeah, just a bit, dude. Glad you realized it. Might as well do it like this, then. Two, three. Dodge is good. Okay. Now, the push is also good. Excellent. So now we've got no more tackle zone on this guy. And here we can do the dodge. Yes. Wow. The pickup. Okay. So, three on the pickup. So we need three, two, two from here to make this work. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So that moment when I said, let's move this guy forward, because then at least he's still a ignoring threat, that might actually determine the game. That might actually determine the game. Yes! Woo! Ah, filthy lucker sage. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't say good game. I'll tell him on Steam. Yes. Wow. That went pretty well. Uh, yeah, let's reroll that, I guess, because it might become less. Uh, oh, zombie number seven took an MVP with him. That is a shame. Bav Bavrian. Ugh, well. If I was going to do silly things, now would be the time to start considering them, I suppose. I think I'm just going to give him block, though. Oh, man. This is... Uh... Yeah, let's, let's build a sensible team for once. Yeah, let's, let's build a sensible team for once. You know what? These guys are both getting... So, I could get... Uh, this guy's getting block. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, I suppose leader isn't terrible, but, you know. Yeah, block. Block. I've had... I've had... I have quite a bunch of fun chaos teams, mostly on Fumble. I have quite a bit of funky, uh, funky chaos going around. I've had I've had um 
a chaos team with four diving tackle warriors, two of them with dodge stand firm. And uh, yeah, it was great fun. Um, I've also had, uh, I also have a chaos team with more dodge than mighty blow, more tentacles than piling on, and more diving tackle than claw. <sighs> this guy though, so there's an argument to be made for claw, there's an argument to be made for block, I'm not going to give him tackle before block. I think I'll give him block and then tackle. I like having one that goes Mighty Blow Claw piling on and the other to go Mighty Blow Block Tackle. I think that's good. So yes, this will be block. Suddenly, suddenly my team is a lot less unsafe because we have three blocks where we had uh, one this game and zero all the games before that. And it's a lot less bloaty because we no longer have the Movement 7 guy. Look, we're down to 1240. Such, such efficiency. Yes. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.